Hello everyone, welcome. Casey here with Modern Witch Doctor. So I'm outside today and I'm making myself um, a very simple primitive weapon. I am making myself a jawbone tomahawk. tomahawks have been used in North America really for thousands of years and a lot of people um, think of the the steel tomahawks or even the stone tomahawks that we think of today but many tribes actually use these jawbone ones. The reason behind this is very basic. Nature provided a weapon without having to put too much work into it. Now this type of weapon could have been used for many many different reasons. Um, hunting of course it could be a throwing weapon. It was also obviously used in battle. Now as a very efficient um, impact weapon this would have been something that you would have absolutely within close range been able to hit somebody with. Um, it could also be used in a sickle manner to um, catch or stop somebody. And as you see, most jaw bones, depending what animal you're using, have this naturally pointed edge. Um, a lot of natives or, or tribes would file this down. Sometimes there would even be grooves put in this, which could also be used, um, you know, as a large knife. So there's many benefits to this very simple natural weapon as is. What I'm gonna do is add a small little hide handle or something to give myself a better grip. And a lot of these um, tomahawks in, in history were elaborately decorated. It was a little bit more than a symbol of war. It was a spiritual symbol. It was um, the symbol of the warriors in your colony or your tribe. So a lot of times this was used as an intimidation tactic. Um, to members of, of uh, rival tribes. If they were in the vicinity, war dances would be performed um, using these in that sense. There is also history to prove that a lot of the medicine people or holy men and women um, use these in a musical sense or in ceremonies. So it is said that they use these much like a rattle. And when, when I tell people that, they think, oh, maybe the teeth shake. That's not the case. What they actually did was they took a stick and would rub it over the teeth. And as you can imagine, if there was drumming and singing and chanting going on, um, this would be very intriguing to hear. So these are my supplies. Today I'm using a cow jawbone, a flint napping hammer stone, a piece of hide, and a little bit of deer skin lace. I begin by using my hammer stone to file down the exterior of the jawbone. Any rough edges gotta go. So what I'm doing right now basically is I'm filing down this, this edge right here. If you can see this is a natural thin edge. And um, of course this is not going to become razor sharp. This uh, is more of an impact weapon. But um, you can file this down to get more of an edge to make it a little more um, brutal should we say. As I move to the handle, I'm basically hammering away any ragged pieces of bone that are sticking out and are jagged. I then am going to file off any rough edges with my hammer stone. So now that I have filed this down to basically my perfection, because that's really all it's about, um, I'm going to go ahead and make myself the handle. I'm going to go ahead and use this natural hole here in the bone to insert my uh, cordage or my um, hide and then we're going to start wrapping. When I get to the end of my cord, I'm basically just going to tuck it under the last wrap that I did and pull it tight. This way there's no glue or tying involved. So all I really wanted was a basic handle. Um, the handle just really needs to be something of comfort or to give you a better grip when it is that you're using or throwing this weapon. 
Um, as you saw today, I just took a little bit of um, deer lace or, or deer hide and wrapped it around. But of course, this is all in preference. Um, I do have some fur here that I'm going to be decorating the top of it. But fur, cordage, anything that's going to give you a better grip will do. Now, the decorating has no other purpose other than purely aesthetic. Personalizing your weapon, of course, is all in preference. As I said in the beginning, this weapon can almost basically be used as is. So the hide that I'm using already naturally had a hole in it, so I basically looped it on the top of the uh, jawbone, and then I'm wrapping and tucking. I then am going to secure it with um, some extra cordage or hide to add some aesthetic properties as well, like fringe. Because I'm someone that loves decorated items, I decide to add some wooden beads and feathers to the dangling pieces of fringe. I still felt like my uh, tomahawk was missing something, so I decided to create some black paint using ground up charcoal and a little bit of water. I decorate my tomahawk using primitive symbols such as the four corners or directions, um, geometrics, triangles, and circles. As within historical times, this is all in preference. Whatever you decide to decorate your weapon is all up to you. I am quite happy how my tomahawk turned out, and I feel very comfortable that if I ever needed to use this weapon as an actual weapon, that it would work quite efficiently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you see, this is a very simple, primitive weapon to make. Um, obviously, nature provides most of it for you. And these sort of bones can be found really all over the place. Now, today I actually used a cow bone. And in prehistoric or ancient times, it was usually a buffalo or an elk. Anything of decent size that's going to give you that, that weight for impact um, in battle. Now, I'm not so sure, obviously, on its effectiveness with hunting. Um, but it's absolutely apparent that during battle or a fight that this absolutely would be an efficient weapon. So till next time, guys, stay wild. For more primitive skills and witch doctor craziness, like and subscribe.